Yeah, I just want to make a little response video to this guy here. A little rant video. This guy, uh, Mitchell's uh, Backyard uh, uh, Logging. If those of you who haven't been following along with this guy, uh, he's trying to bet me $500 because he thinks that his Cajun built, which is a nice saw. I'm not saying the guy did a bad job. It's a nice saw. Is going to beat my 462. Okay. Well, I remember a couple years ago, and these guys are these forum guys too. That's another thing. Before I get these guys are these forum guys, blah blah blah, talk about everybody. But anyways, I remember a couple years ago. Uh. Buck and Billy Ray was challenged. One of these forum guys, I believe they call him the dentist. I actually bought some tools off him. The guy's a smart guy. And I, I build the way he does. Or similar to it. But uh, they sent a saw to Buck and Billy Ray. I think the video was, I've been challenged. Uh, the unboxing, you can go watch it. Maybe if, if I have a minute, I'll leave a description uh, in, the, in, in the comments or whatever, or a link so you can watch it. But... They sent a saw to Buck and Billy Ray. It was, I believe, a 288 Husqvarna. It had the machine work, the, the compression, piston, everything, the whole nine. The case was milled out, which is smart. This guy is smart. He's a dentist. This guy's no dummy. Case was milled out, and this was against Buckin's, uh old 394 that he's had for However many years, I I guess if I, memory serves me right, uh, right, there was no machine work done to it. It was just his buddy there, the bear claw. He just floated and made it breathe. Well, they ran the saws, and uh, you know this 288 was touted. It's going to take your it's going to take your saws lunch, this and that. Well, it didn't happen. They ran them. It didn't happen. Okay, the 288. Yeah, you're down some CCs. So what does that have to do with me and Mitchell? Well, Mitch. You're down CCs. Okay? And my saw has been tickled a little bit. I haven't done any machine work to it, but it's been tickled probably more than what Bear Claw did to Buckins 394. Okay? I personally am not going to give anybody, especially if you're betting for money, like this guy, 500. First he said 1,000, now he's down to 500. Whatever you want, make it 2,500. I don't care. You know, whatever you want, make it five grand. Let's go. But anyways, uh, I would never bet money in a drag race if I got a 350 and the other guy got 396. Or I got a 305 and he's got a 350. You're, you're down from the beginning. Now, you take a chainsaw like that 72.2 uh, cc's for the uh, 462, the... Uh, the other saw, the 400C, is at 66.8. So you're talking almost 6 cc's. You know, or 5.4 cc's. But whatever. That's a lot of uh, displacement. You know, I would never uh, challenge a hot saws or a guy, a, a upper echelon builder, a, a superior mechanic, uh, than these guys. And I'm not, you know... It's just the way it is, brother. Sorry. You put your time in, and maybe one day you'll be as good as him. But I would never challenge him with a 462, no matter how hot I thought it was, and bet him 500 or 1000 or $5,000 when he's got his 461 Insano. And I'm already giving up, uh, what is it, 4.3 4 cc's right off the bat. I'm not doing that. And that's foolish. But, Mitchell, you said it. And uh, I'm gonna hold you to account. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call you out on it, and I'm gonna expose you. Now he makes a video tonight, uh, <clears throat> response video. Uh, he made one video where it shows him cutting, and I'm not sure if it was the the Cajun or if it was the uh, the rip saw. I'm not sure which version it was, but he said that it, it beats my saw, but. The, the, my saw wasn't even in a video. Now, I, I take offense to that. And, you know, there's a guy out there to say, uh, the Noker guy or whatever, he's going after people. Guys, you can't put bullshit on the, on the uh, YouTube if it's not true. 
Because like I said, I'm going to call you out and I'm going to expose you. So, I watched his video and I got so far and I says, listen, this guy, he's backpedaling. Well, I don't want to send a saw to you. Okay. Uh, I'll be more than glad to email you. You can look up my name and address. You can look up my background. You know, that I pay all my bills on time. My credit's good, whatever. I'm not going to steal your saw. You know what I mean? Or damage your saw. Okay? It will be returned to you in the condition that it was sent in. And you have my word on it. Well, I, I don't want to do that because you can sandbag it. Okay. Then the same goes to you. I'm not sending you my son. Well, a guy, he, he suggests that, uh, you know, we we send us, he sends his saw and I send my saw to a neutral party. Come on. If I'm going to drag race you, I'm going to be running the car. Not send it to somebody else. I mean, it, it, you're in an element right there that's garbage. So I think, like I said, I think you're trying to weasel out of it. I think what happened was you started looking at these videos of that saw, and you started looking at it and saying, oh, 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 oh wait a minute here, uh, uh, five seconds, uh, three, three and a half seconds, uh, wait. but like I said, you said it, You five hundred. I'm going to hold you to account. So now we go on and, and, and we're going to send them to Dino Joe. We're going to put them on the dino. Look it. That's not what, what you said. That's not what, what the bet was. You put you said 500 bucks, 1000 whatever you want, and I'm holding you to it. So what do we do? Uh, you're about eight hours away from me. I'm here in New York by the lake. You're down here in Kentucky. Four-hour drive, we meet somewhere. We'll find somebody. Don't worry about it. And we'll run our own saws. That's the only way to do it, brother. If you don't want to send a saw to me because you don't trust me, Okay, that's fine. I respect that. I'm not going to send my saw to you. Uh, that's, the, that's the answer. Send it to Dino Joe. It's going to give you horsepower numbers, but I'm just telling you. We have access to, to Dino equipment here. Uh, it's more primitive. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles and all that, but it, it does the job. But to be honest with you, ultimately, it's the wood Dino. So, we're going to meet somewhere in the, in the middle here, four hours. Or you could travel six, I'll travel two, or or whatever. Maybe you're going to come in town. Maybe in a couple weeks I'm going to go on vacation and I'm going to go right past, who knows what happens. But we will meet up one way or the other. If i got to drive eight hours, and I'll call you, and I'll show up on your porch, I'll do it. Because I'll tell you something else. If this was Buck and Billy Ray, and Buck and Billy Ray was on my video or something, and we went back and forth, there would be none of this send it to Dino Joe. There'd be none of this uh, send it to another party. No. He would set something up, fly in, hey, he's in Bunyan, uh, and he would do it. And if he lost, he'd pay. Same here. Because he's a man of honor, a man of respect. That's a guy I look up to. But you people, you sit on that forum and you talk about me uh, Iron Horse, these people are making videos attacking the man when he's in, in the hospital. Whatever the background is. Come on, man. That's, that's, that's cold. Uh, and you just go on and on. You know, these people, they sit in there. And are, are there all these guys bad on the forums? No, there's some good guys on there. But most of the smart guys left. You know, once you see what the system is there, and the system is, you know, uh, <clears throat> you, if you want any work, you got to tow the company line. You know, you got to, the cat ape, you got to kiss the, Kiss the ring and kiss his balls. I, I'm not doing that. I'll do my own thing. But you guys sit there. You talk about me. Iron Horse. Uh, you, Tin Man. Uh, and Buck and Billy Ray. And all these other guys that built saws that are no longer on that forum. And you guys just sit there in that circle jerk. Now, I'm not saying all of you. There's some good guys out there. Really. I've talked to a few of you guys. Emailed or whatever. You guys are all right, man. I, I could hang out with you. But these other guys, uh, they're garbage. So, Mitchell, be a man of your word and make this happen. But it's got to happen soon. And we're going to use 
the same bar and an off the roll chain. We're going to use the same bar oil and we're going to use the same fuel. Now, I suggest the winter blend. I suggest uh, steel moto mix and for the chain off the roll RS chain. Okay. And then we'll swap bars and we'll run like three cuts. And if somebody says, hey, man, I messed up, okay, you get three tries. But after that, that's it. And the best time wins. For whatever, 500,000, whatever you want to put on there, buddy. Okay? That's it. That's all you got to do. Make it happen. Don't pussy out or try and backpedal. That's garbage.